gets his car. Unless the goat's gonna walk home, we got him. No, Reggie. Just get the hell out of here. You wanna get ripped, don't you? Yeah, sure, but I don't think we should. Well, how are we gonna pay for this stuff? Your old lady got any more cash? Then let's do it, man. The stupid wimp's asking for it. Get some money. Hey, Wimp, don't you fight to protect your property? Hey, are you nuts? What the hell are you doing? Get out. Just went to be a man. Leave. Let me go. the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. My brother's in trouble. You have to help him. What kind of trouble? Leon and Reggie were fighting. I think Reggie's dead. I to walk you home. You have to help him. Whom the gods love die young. It's an old line. Maybe it rang true once upon a time. Right now it's hard to figure the sense in it when a kid dies in an alley with a hole in his belly. No one suspects him of being loved by the gods or being a hero. They just wonder what kind of trouble he got himself into. He looks like he could have stepped out of a high school yearbook. You know what he was doing here? No, he wasn't selling tickets to the prom, Tom. Went to my high school. Don't remember too many of us ending up like this. Now well, things change, frankly, especially in old neighborhoods. Yeah, well, that's what I keep telling my mom. She'd never move. <laughs> Nothing beats good memories. I got up to go to the fridge, and when I passed the window, I saw him down here. So who? Three guys. What were they doing? Fighting, I guess. So what'd you do? I put on my Superman outfit and I flew down to the alley. Hey, look. Save the jokes for the bowling alley and just tell us what happened. I'll tell you what the hell happened. I pulled down the window shade and I watched the fourth quarter of the game. So why don't you call us? Because I mind my own business most of the time. Except for tonight. My old lady told me to come down here. She hadn't listened. Can I go now? Not until we get a statement. Stand back, stand back. All right, thanks. 
They found a leather wallet stripped clean. ID says it belongs to a Walter Smith. Also, the dead kid's got over a hundred bucks and a couple of Smith's credit cards in his pocket. Let's see if we can find this man Smith, then, huh? Frank? Jim? My father Torres. Jim's still my name, Frank. Good to see you. Mom said you were back. I was meaning to come by and uh, catch you at mass. Do you good? Father, this is my partner, Kevin O'Brien. Nice to meet you. We go back a long way. Yeah, we were altar boys together. Altar boys? Yeah, with him it took. I uh, heard a boy was killed here. Is it someone from the neighborhood? Yeah, it looks like. Do you mind taking a look, Father? Does anyone want to hang on a minute? Thanks, just a minute. Excuse me. Do you know? Yeah. His name is uh, Reggie. Reggie Mazuka. Okay. I think he lived uh, in that apartment building on River Street, the big one. All right, we'll check in on that. Anything else you can tell us? Well, I've seen him with my housekeeper's son, uh, Leon Metcalf. Uh, if you're gonna talk to him, I I'd like to come with you. Mrs. Metcalf's very excitable, and, you know, the police coming to her house, and a friend of her son's dead. I, I think I should be there. Fine, fine. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Ella, get the door, will you? Yes, sure, Mom. Hi, Ella. Is uh, your mother home? Yes. Yeah. Hi. Father Torres. I didn't expect you. Uh, they're uh, policemen. Uh, Mrs. Metcalf, they want to ask Leon a few questions. What questions? Why, my Leon's a good boy. Your son's not in any trouble, as far as we know, Mrs. Metcalf. I just want to talk to him about a friend of his. Well, Leon's not home. Well, do you know a friend of his named Reggie? He's no good. I told Leon to stay away from that boy. That Reggie phoned here tonight, and I told Leon not to see him. Do you know if he did? No. I don't know. Hello? Do you know Reggie? I know who he is. Did your brother see him tonight? There's nothing to be afraid of, Ella. Not afraid, Father Torres. Is your son here? Yes. He's a good looking boy. What's all this about? What's that Reggie done now? He's been killed, Mrs. Metcalf. He was stabbed. Oh, no. What does my Leon have to do with all this? I just want to talk to him. When you hear from your son next, you tell him to call us. Thank you. Good night, Miss Beckett. Any idea where we might find him? I don't know. There's a place on 6th where a lot of the kids hang out. Don't you think he's got anything to do with this Reggie thing? I'm not surprised by anything anymore. The sister looked pretty nervous. Hell is a very high-strung girl. I think she might know something. She's a good girl. Maybe if you talk to her again. Hi. Hello. 
anybody got anything I want to hear? Forensics, ME. Yeah, that's a start. You died of a stab wound, right? Uh, yeah. It uh, hit a major artery. Uh, kid bled to death. There were some bruises and contusions. A pipe? Looks like it. Well, we just got something. Walter Smith turned up at Mid North reporting a mugging. He's on his way here. Okay. Anything else? Reggie Mazuka had a record, mostly small stuff. Had a little running with your friend, Father Torres, Frank. What kind of running? Father Torres caught him and another kid fighting outside the church. There was a little scuffle. Oh, Father Torres, he's got a great left hook. Nearly broke my jaw once. The incident almost wound up in court. Kind of funny he didn't say anything about that. Hmm? You, um, find out where the dead kid lived? Yeah, we talked to his mother. She seemed really broken up. It is hardly surprising. Our neighbors say the kid was hardly ever there. Hung out in the street most of the time. Didn't even sleep there very much. All right, Father Torres said they all hang out at this place over on 6th Avenue. Why don't you guys get over there, nose around, see if you can dig out a Leon Metcalf. You should be in bed. Don't worry. Leon will be back soon. Oh. Where is he? I'm so worried. Maybe... Maybe he is in trouble. Leon's okay, Mama. You need to rest. Take some of your medicine. No, it's all gone. I'll get you some. trouble, Ella. You gotta help me. Not this time, Lee. It was an accident. I swear it. I didn't mean to do it. Why don't you go to the police? I, I saw it. I, I can tell them. No. They locked me up. I couldn't stand it. You're high, aren't you? What did you take, Leon? Nothing. Nothing. Ella, please. Help me. Just don't tell anybody what you saw. You told somebody. No. You did tell somebody. Who? The cops? Who? Who was it? Please, Leon, you're hurting me. Tell me! Father Torres! How could you do that? You go to the cops. He's a priest. He's got to tell them. He won't. I told him in confession. What if he does? What if he tells them anyway? He won't do that, Leon. He can't. Are you coming home? Mom's worried. I don't know. I uh, stayed late at the shop to do my books. I, I can't afford a bookkeeper yet. You're new in the neighborhood, Mr. Smith? Yes. Some welcome, huh? When you didn't recognize the boys who attacked you, you'd never seen them before tonight. I don't remember seeing them. Look, I work late a lot. If they never came into the shop, I, I probably never saw them. You know, it was like this kid was crazy. He, didn't, he just started smashing at me. It was, it, it was like he really wanted to kill somebody. And that's when you started to fight back. That's when you grabbed the knife. Grabbed the knife? Are you kidding? As soon as the kid stopped beating me, I ran. I didn't stop until I got to my apartment. Well, how'd you get away? He let go and I ran. Well, Look, that's he didn't all hit I, him. He hit me. They hit me. Look, that's all I know. This is one of the boys.
I don't know. It was dark. I, I was scared. It could have been anybody. Mr. Smith, concentrate. Any detail. Any detail at all. Come on. I don't know. They were both wearing those jackets. I know you're worried, Ella. There's something comforting about being here. The presence of God. It's a good place to think. You haven't told the police, have you? Good place to make decisions, too. If you listen to God, he'll tell you what to do. Please, Father, you have to answer me. You're not going to break your vows. In some things, there are no decisions to make. I won't break my vows. You want me to tell, don't you? I want you to do what you think is right. He's my brother. Sometimes it's very difficult to know what to do. I know that. All you can do is ask God for help. kid. You hear Reggie Mazuka was killed? What's the matter? None of you guys speak? Good social skills. What about Leon Metcalf? Anybody seen Leon? Tell us all about it. About what? About what happened to Reggie. I don't know. Sure you do. You did a mugging in an alley. And then what? Got into a fight over the loot. Is that it, Leon? No. I wasn't there. I tell you, I wasn't there. Yeah, well, we got a witness. Well, he's a liar. I wasn't there. Who said it was a he? You're in this way over your head, Leon. Way over. <laughs> Way? All right. I really didn't get a very good look at him. Just do your best, Mr. Smith. You're all we've got. No, I, uh... I don't recognize any of them. Look, uh, try to remember what you said in your statement. I said I didn't see anything. I just want to leave, okay? If I say one of them is the guy who robbed me, are you gonna sit in my store and protect me? Huh? Then what the hell is there to stop him from coming back and, and finishing the job? I just don't want any more trouble. Metcalf, you shouldn't be working today. It's all right, Father. The work makes me feel better. 
Father, Malion's a good boy, you know that. I know you've done everything you can for him. The police let him go this morning. It all must have been a mistake. I've been so worried about him lately. Why don't you have him come by and talk to me, okay? Thank you, Father. Touch him, Mrs. Metcalf. But what should we do? I'll call the police. I suppose there's no way of keeping this out of the newspapers. Not for my sake, for the church, for the decent people in the neighborhood. Do our best to keep it quiet. Thanks, Frank. Hey, why don't you tell us you had a fight with Reggie? <laughs> it's not the thing I'm most proud of in my life. I, I shouldn't have hit him. I was... Didn't deserve it? I'm sure he did. You worked here a long time, Mrs. Metcalf? Fifteen years. Father Torres has only been with us for one. Hmm. Well, do you have any idea how that knife could have gotten there? No. Are you sure? I'm sure Father Torres didn't put it there. How do you know that? Because he's a priest. Excuse me. Can I see you a minute? That's all for now, Miss Metcalf. Thanks a lot. Just sit on this one a little while, okay? This is probably the murder weapon, Frank. Listen, I'm not saying forget it. I'm just saying don't mention it until we get something solid. We got something solid, the knife. You know what the papers will do with something like this. I mean, he's already in trouble for hitting the kid before. This, this could finish him. A cover-up is not going to do him any good. Not going to do us any good either. Forget it. We got to do something to help him. Do your job. I hear you might be talking to a priest about that homicide the other day. I don't know where you guys get your information. Circus is starting already. Is that it? Yeah, the knife was the murder weapon, all right. Blood matches the victims. Any prints? Only the victims. Everything else was just smudges. What now? Let's go talk to the Metcalf kid again. Let's go. When's the last time you were in a rectory? I don't know. Long time ago. Did you ever see this before? Hmm? Looks like Reggie's. The one using the mugging? How should I know? I wasn't there. We know you were there. When are you gonna stop lying to us? He tried to use the knife on you? That it, Leon? What are you asking me for? Why don't you ask Father Torres? He found the knife at his place. Oh, he hated Reggie. He punched him out. Ask anybody. Don't you shut up. It's true. Why, you lying! Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Metcalf. How to drag that lion punk downtown. The hell we're for? For being a lion bastard. Well, you're right about that, Frank. We cannot even place him in the alley. How could you say that about Father Torres? Leave me alone. But to lie about a priest, Leon, it's a sin. It's the truth. What were you doing in his office? Nothing. Waiting for you. But then why did you lie? I couldn't tell him I was there. They think I killed Reggie. They put me in jail, Ma. Is that what you want? Go to Father Torres, talk to him. Maybe he can help you. I don't need any help. But Father Torres wants That to... damn priest, he's all you ever think about. Why don't you think about me once in a while? Oh, Leon! That is the craziest thing I ever heard. 
I'm just suggesting that we get a statement from Father Torres. I don't think that's so crazy, Frank. You get statements from people you suspect, Elaine. Nobody's saying that we suspect him of anything. Then what the hell is a statement crap? We found the murder weapon at his place. We can't just ignore it. Why not? You've been a cop too long for me to even have to answer that. Frank, we're set down to kick a dynamite. We got to do it by the book. No matter what we do to him and his church. All I am asking you to do is to talk to him. Frank, will you give it a rest? Come on. It's like somebody telling you Tommy killed somebody. Who squealed? It's stupid to question him. It just doesn't make any sense. Why, because he's a friend or because he's a priest? Both. Because he's a friend and because he's a priest, we shouldn't be questioning him. But you have to. <laughs> Not you, too. Everybody's going to be watching you, Frank, to see how you handle it. And it is going to be tough for you and for Father Torres. Well, how about getting tougher on a scum out there instead? Come on, Frankie. I mean, I'm a reporter. I find out there's an investigation involving a priest. You've already got a story. You throw in a hint that somebody did him a favor or the investigation's sloppy, you've got a big story. If it was just some guy from the street, no one would even notice. You know that? That's what I'm telling. You're talking politics. I'm talking what's right here. What's right, Frank, is doing the job. And in the long run, that's what protects everybody. Especially the department. <laughs> that, too. I mean, whether you like it or not, it is part of the job. I don't like it. Well, with or without you, it's got to get done. And what can you tell us, Father Torres? Only that I wish this hadn't happened. This is a tough neighborhood. I try to preach nonviolence. I don't think this is going to make my work any easier. You have no idea how the knife got into the rectory? No. I wish I could help you. Well, you know there was a mugging in the alley where the boy was killed. Did you hear anything about that? Mostly what you and Frank told me. Well, last night you said you heard there was a killing. Who told you? You saw an ambulance just like everyone else. I'd like to hear your answer to that, Father. How did you find out about it, Jim? Father. Are you protecting someone? I'll see you in the car. You're making this pretty tough for us, Jim. I don't mean to. Then why don't you tell us... Do me a favor, Frank. Don't ask any more questions. Is that the way you want it? That's the way it has to be. You still running? I'll get my stuff out of the car. A damn light. Can't you stay away from the drugs? Don't you see what they're doing to you? Can't you see I haven't had anything? I need something, Ella. Something to help me think straight. You owe me some money. Just a couple of bucks. No. Please, Ella, I need it. I don't have any money. Get some. 
I have to. You're not gonna hurt someone else. It was just a stupid accident, Ella. You gotta forget about How it. How can I forget about it? I can't go to jail. I kill myself first. Think about mom. Think what it would do to her. We've been friends for a long time, Jim. I thought that counted for something. It does. Then help me to understand what the hell you're doing. You just clammed up. I mean, Capone couldn't have done it any better. There's nothing I can say, Frank. Why? Because you don't know what happened? Or maybe you do. Is that it, Jim? You know what happened? Huh? Answer me. Get off my back, all right? You're breaking the law by not telling us what you know. It's the same as lying. There are all kinds of laws, Frank. Well, what law says once you become a priest, you gotta stop being a person? Huh? Why the hell won't you talk? It's like you... Confession. That's it, isn't it? Somebody told you in confession. Huh? No more questions, Frank. Papers are having some fun with this one. What are you looking at me for? I didn't write that stuff. You better sell a lot of papers, though. I told you it'd be a big story. If you guys don't pick this up pretty fast, it's gonna be mighty tough for Father Torres to pick up the pieces again. He knows who did it. Father Torres? Somebody told him a confession. He told you that? No. Oh, he couldn't talk about it at all. Why not? Because the man made a vow. We're talking about a homicide here, Frank. What we're talking about here is the seal of confession. It's a man's whole way of life, right? What he hears in the confession stays there. Yeah, that is if he heard it in the confessional. How are we gonna know that? It's a guess. I've known the man for 20 years. I am not guessing. So you know he knows. All you gotta find out is what he knows. Yeah, well, there's gotta be some way to get him to talk, Frank. There's no way, Freddy. Reporters still go to jail to protect their sources, don't they, Tommy? Fine, fine. The man is not going to talk. And knowing that does not do us a hell of a lot of good. We still got an unsolved homicide on our hands, right? I want that Metcalf kid brought in again. Check out the place you found him before. You and Frankie swing by the house. Okay. Smelling you out, man. Got their eye on this place. Yeah, what for? I don't know, but they're sure looking for you. Yeah? Well, who's been talking to them? Not us. No? Who then? Hey, whatever your problem is, take it out of here. Yeah, sure. Show me a couple of bucks, huh? I need to see Billy. Well, I look like a bank or something. Give me some money. Let go, man. Hey, fight outside! You heard me! I need it, Mac. Please. You're crazy, man. I ain't got no bread for your damn hats.
Will you forgive me, Father? You've done nothing to me. I haven't helped you. You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. I should be helping you. I don't want to lie anymore. I know it's hurting you. But Leon... I can't talk to the police to kill my mother. How could I do that to her? You have to make your own decision, Ella. There's no other way. Look, this is all I got, man. It's gotta be enough. Eric, who are you kidding? I shouldn't even be talking to you, man. I hear you're hot. But a mama's boy like you gets so hot. Some bastard squealed on me. Time's tough. Just give me a job, man, huh? Just give me a little take. Don't be stupid, man. I'll feed you your liver. Look, I'll get the money. Where are you gonna get money? I'll get it, I tell you. So you want him to come back and take your all down with him, huh? Okay, so we get in the car, we do it downtown. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Leon was here. Came in just after you left. Did he say where it was heading? Yeah. Guy was strung out, man. Looking for Billy. Billy who? Hangs out at Fifth and Wilson. Stocky guy. Dark skin. Yeah. Let's go, Freddy. You know Billy? Yeah, I've busted him a couple times. Always for drugs. So you haven't seen him all night long? Did you see Leon tonight, Ella? No. Why can't you just leave us alone? Because we have to find out how that knife got in the rectory. I don't know. Could Leon have put it there? I never saw that knife before. Could he have put it there, Mrs. Medford? Why are you doing this? He was there, wasn't he? And you know that he was lying. You're not helping him, Mrs. Metcalf. He's in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it any worse. Stop it. Leave her alone. She didn't see anything. I did. What did you see, Ella? I can't. Don't you see? I can't. He's my brother. He was in the rectory. Oh, I saw him. He was in Father Doris' office. It was wrong not to tell you. If you know anything, Ella, you have to tell them. Leon and Reggie we were fighting in the alley. I saw them. Thank you. Unit 1209. Lead on the Metcalf kid, Frankie. We're at 5th and Wilson. On our way. Long time no see, man. <laughs> hey, man, come on, man. I'm clean. Don't ask anybody. We're looking for Leon. I don't know no Leon. We got 12 of his buddies say he was looking for you. Hey, I see a lot of people, man, so uh, maybe I don't remember everybody's name. Better get smart, jerk, unless you want to take a ride downtown. Hey, hey. So I saw the dude tonight. Big deal. Got any idea where he went? <laughs> hey, I'm not his mother, man. <laughs> Look, I swear, man, I don't know where the dude went. He was looking for money. He was looking to score from you, you weasel. We're pretty serious about this, big boy. Oh, man, give me a break, man. I can't control this man when he gets angry. Look, I don't know nothing, man. He said he owed some dude. Some guy squealed on him. Cool, brother.
down, Father. Just take it easy, Leon. Nobody has to get hurt. Sit down, Father. I'm taking up a collection, Father. You got any money? No. You owe me. Put your hands on the table. Nothing. You got nothing, man. I can help you, Leon. You can't help anybody. You can't. You told, man. You're no good. Why'd you betray me, Father? I haven't said anything to anyone. You're lying! You're not even a good priest. You broke your vows. You broke them, Father. You know, my mother thinks she's so special. She treats you like you were the Pope or something. You're not a killer, Leon. What happened to Reggie was an accident. Leon. I'll do everything I can to help you. Leon. I'll kill him. Don't shoot him. Leon. Give me the knife. Hell, Mary, for the grace the Lord is with Think Listen about your mother and sister, me. Leon. Sister, for you to die with Jesus. Don't do this to them. Pray for the sinners. Thou shalt not kill, the fifth commandment, a fundamental law of our society that compels us to turn against anyone who takes another human life. It feels like an absolute, but sometimes there are forces even stronger than our abhorrence of a killer. For Father Torres, it was the sacrament of confession. For the Metcalfs, it was the love of a mother and a sister for a boy who didn't deserve it. I'll wait in the car. All right. I should have understood. You couldn't have. I mean, we both did what we had to do. Hey, uh, why don't you come back tomorrow? I want to see if you can still lose six miles. <laughs> <laughs>